Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in and welcome back to my channel. Today is an exciting video because this is a lip swatch video. I love these kinds of videos. YSL has come out with a brand new lipstick and this is a satin lipstick, a traditional satin finish lipstick. And when I saw this, like I was like, hang on, this looks like they something they came out with last year because last year they came out with a lipstick called the Bold Lipstick. And this one is called the caring lipstick or wait yeah it's just like what is this called again hang on my friends let me quickly look at it rouge pure couture that's what all of their lipsticks are called but satin color lipstick long lasting comfort smoothing lip care but I, i'm i'm positive i saw something called caring lipstick or something but i will see what the title is and I will link that down below. But and I saw the packaging. I was like, this is ditto what they did last year for the bold lipstick. But they just flipped the colors. This gold. This is the, what the packaging looks like. So for the bold lipstick, the black is on top and the gold is at the bottom. And the lettering, the embossing of YSL is in gold. And this time they just flipped it. It was like that is a satin lipstick. This is also a satin lipstick. Well, that is more marketed as like one swipe inten in intensity and it is it is like really it's an intense lipstick and this is also it's not a sheer lipsticks for sure from the look of it and swatches. So honestly, I was like, maybe they are. I don't know. I was doubtful. I was skeptical when I saw it, the packaging and everything. So but anyways. I got it because YSL does do really, really, really good lipsticks. I do like YSL makeup. I love their lipsticks. Their their um, uh, tattooage couture lipsticks especially. So on my lips, I right now I have Kosa's lipstick. I got this little uh, set gift set from Kosa's. It's like three nude lipsticks. So I think that would be that would make a useful video because they are like much lighter nudes and so i have that li that video up i'm not sure which one is going up first but if it's already out i will leave the link down below so but this is the shade i have on my lips it's like a true like skin tone nude and it's called high cut so if you're interested in, in checking out the other two shades um take a look at that video okay for now let's take a look at the packaging the packaging again is not magnetic and this is like 41 42 i do i really wish companies would start incorporating magnetic packaging for these expensive lipsticks because i mean i want to experience something like new and some i mean it's not new but something that would like set them apart yes outside it looks very fancy and all but it feels like these lipsticks are just paying the high price tag just for it so yep and i think all of their lipsticks are made in france yes made in france and you get 3.8 grams of product um and i got the shade liberated plum i have to say very important um the shades on Sephora's website are actually fewer you can also find the same lipstick on Nordstrom's website and they were more colors the i got this on not website the shade liberated plum and there's also a beautiful plummy pink lipstick on their website which i did not get but those colors i couldn't find on sephora maybe it's coming later i'm not sure but at least when i got it it wasn't there so just fyi i got the shade and i really really liked it the swatch looked like a very beautiful like an eggplant shade aubergine eggplant color but uh, that's why I got it because you don't really see those colors anymore to be honest uh, but um, this turned out more like a berry shade yeah but anyways it says YSL there I don't know if you can see that YSL there let me quickly swatch that so it's great pigmentation as you can see it's as pigmented as uh, the bold lipstick from last year the bold was more, even more smoother i would say but this and even more pigmented this is not 100 percent opaque but it's more um you know uh semi-opaque i would say and 
it has that strong that stinky rose scent which i really why are they all doing the same thing sorry okay let me swatch that for you so it definitely is more like a rich dark for a berry shade but leaning on purple side but it's not like a bluish purple it's not like that are in pinkish purple it's more red maybe it's it looks more purple because my hair is purple and it's that it's pulling purple but it's more berry i have to say it's just a rich berry shade and the formulation is really good especially for this shade because this is one of the trickiest shade right the purple berry shade are at least with mac lipstick they're all kind of like a sheer and they're kind of streaky but this guy actually is very well formulated and it's super super moisturizing it feels really good uh it's very very lightweight on the lips so overall it's a great product no complaints at all to be honest i really wish the packaging was like um magnetic because these little things count to be honest these little things stand out uh so yeah but otherwise it's a great um moisturizing formula and the only another concern is i really wish they were like different i feel the bold lipstick and the caring lipstick the the new one it's like so similar all they it feels like all they did is just like switch the colors so that's my only concern but i really wish especially ysl it comes up with such really great innovative um lipsticks i really wish they could have done something different with this launch but anyways that's my only uh thing but otherwise it is truly a great lipstick you will not have actual complaints about the lipstick itself i can say that much for sure so yep i i hope this video was helpful in making a decision come say hi if you're new here and thumbs up this video if you liked watching it because it really helps my video reach like-minded enthusiasts like you and a subscribe if you haven't already i really would love you to join my channel and that's it and i will see you guys very soon bye